Hey everyone, Rascal here. And Mama, welcome to another World of Bleach video featuring the resident bleach expert of the Rascals, General Phoenix. Yay. Yes, yes, I'm definitely so honored to be back and I'm so Yes. And your podcast. Yes, you yeah. are. <laughs> For this podcast, we're discussing Orihime, who's an under, underappreciated, misunderstood heroine by many in the fandom, with General Phoenix joining us for this. Now, with a great cast of characters and a range of powers and personality, especially Orihime, so why is she considered bad or uninteresting and sometimes described unfairly as useless? Today, we're going to tell you why Orihime is more important than you think. But... Before we start, be sure to like, subscribe, and notification for updates on future podcasts and World of Pause videos. Yes! So first off, we have to let you know, full disclosure, this podcast is taking part, taking place in part due to a video that is titled Orihime. Why Orihime is more important than you think. Yes, and you can see the card that's going to be attached to this for the original video that runs about 36 minutes. And if you haven't seen it, it's something you should watch, whether you're an Orihime, uh, Orihime fan or not, and just Bleach fans, mm -hmm. to really know truly why this uh, character was created and what her purpose in the anime is. Yeah. So, Phoenix, tell us, first of all, how did you learn about this particular video? Okay, so what I learned from this video is, I know that this video was like a I began I had to stop and then I had to go back to it later but once I w went back started from the beginning again and watched it all the way through it was like wow it's just personally ever since she's been chosen as my human form by Phoenix thank you very much I really truly have grown to love this character and I'm loving seeing her growth with each season that we watch her and we have seen so much hate for this character on Twitter. Not understanding why, not understanding what the point is. First of all, she's not the first character to be drawn anime sexy. She's right. not the first character to have an innocence to her. And she's not the first character that starts out one way and grows to be super strong. So why all the hate? Who knows? But to really learn more about her purpose in the anime and why she was created. There's no better video than this. Right. And, and this one really goes into detail about her character, where her name originated from for a old Japanese poem and folklore tale. Um, it shows how she connects with Ichigo and why, you know, when they work well together, they're a really great uh, force. And they describe, it even describes how her powers work, where it's not just necessarily healing, but it goes more detail on what it really means when she uses it. And when she uses it properly, um, it really has a very lasting impact on somebody. She's meant to help others and help them up. Now, Phoenix, you've been watching Bleach uh, since the very beginning till it ended, and you, of course, will be watching it with the additional season that's coming out and you've also read the entire manga tell us for you what this video has meant in helping to 
get others to appreciate Orihime more. So, yes. how do you think this video will help others to appreciate her more, those who have watched the series and or read the manga? To me, I think that this video will help them out because Ohime was always there for her friends, and she's not selfish at all. She's nothing like Sakura when people always compare her to Sakura, when she's nothing like Sakura at all. That's a good reason. I think what I gathered from watching this video, as you mentioned earlier, with the, the information on the um, etymology of her name and her character and how she represents rain and the cleansing and the relationship between she and Ichigo. All of the characters, not just Ichigo, but how she related to Chad and how she related to Uryu and different ones, but mostly how her relationship was with, Ich with Ichigo mm -hmm. and how it grew in terms of her being first someone who doesn't want to cause anyone pain, so she never tells them the truth about her situation, what's happening with her, mm -hmm. just so that she can protect them, not physically, but protect them from feeling emotions or pain. And how on the flip side you had Ichigo who was a physical protector and who would go out of his way to take care of everyone and make sure his friends and his loved ones were not hurt physically. Then the relationship between she and Ichigo, there was that same dynamic. She didn't want him to be hurt so she wouldn't tell the truth. He didn't want her to be hurt so he would always rush to protect her. And how each of them had to grow to be bigger and to be able to complement each other mm -hmm. by the end of the series. I think the video is excellent in explaining that. What the video also did, because we're not at the end of the series, is if you haven't seen it and you have not finished the Bleach series, there are spoilers. There are good spoilers, but they are spoilers, so just fair warning right. if you watch it. Right. And what I really did love is how it showed the growth of Orihime to be uh, confident, to learning to express her emotions and telling others that she needs help and when others tell her to step back and let them handle it to believe that they can do it to have confidence in them and to know that they've grown enough to do it or she can step back and just be a viewer until she's asked to help that really was what the biggest impression I got from her growth as a character in their relationship right you yeah um i think i think you're right it shows all of her growth throughout the entire series because it kind of covers it basically all of the key moments for her from the start to the backstory from start to finish to the end to i guess what will eventually be for a sequel series or sequel manga it shows her full development and it may seem like she's one way on the surface maybe in the very beginning when you don't know and haven't seen the rest like the first few episodes yeah like maybe you can have a different opinion then because you don't know if you don't get spoilers or anything you don't know what's going on and you is pretty common to have a similar outlook but as it goes on you can see development and change and like you said the confidence now people are still saying stuff after seeing the whole thing well then you can't help them they're clearly just not seeing the development there unfolding before them 
but you can definitely see it if you are paying attention you really love the show and the characters and you're really seeing the detail in the story you're really seeing this huge development and growth of a character why do you think that the channel made this video Phoenix the reason why that one now yeah, so we're loving it so far absolutely so yeah we can see you know this is where the big chunk of it comes in for development and everything we're actually seeing things that we saw from the video playing about so like if we had, hadn't had seen those episodes already we would have known he was talking about but it's like right before right after that we saw the episodes it's like oh gosh <laughs> so you can literally see what he was talking about as you're watching watch it one after the other i also like uh, one more thing I'd like to point out about this particular video is how it shows Orihime and Ichigo have a shared dark past. Yeah. Backstory with uh, he with his mom and she with her brother and how they've had to deal with those emotions, how they've had to move forward without those people they love in their lives and how each of those events in their lives has affected them as people everyday people and affected Ichigo as being a soul reaper and or he may have being a hero because she is a hero yeah she's been a hero to every one of the friends to people she doesn't know she is just a character that to me exemplifies and shows the best in all of us yeah that's what I think she represents yeah So, are there any final thoughts you'd like to share, Phoenix? Well, my final thought is, I just loved Odehime a lot because she was so comforting and she always grew on me and I adored her ever since she first appeared. And whenever she expressed, when that time when she expressed herself to Rocky Hill, on which she felt jealous of Ishigo and Rocky's relationship, And we just saw that episode, and I'm where I, I liked another thing she pointed out. And she told Orihime he's still a, a child, he's not a man. Yeah, right. and then she started crying because I guess maybe she hadn't been looking at him as that, she was looking at him as he's a man, <laughs> but she told her, you know, he's not a man, he's still a boy, and yeah, he's still, still growing. growing. Yeah. yeah, so I think that was really wonderful how that was written and how that was pointed out and how they showed her character getting this you know this aha moment and understanding that maybe she'd been looking at him in a way that was unfair and those feelings that she was feeling were unnecessary and she kind of had brought them on herself and how she could release them and let them go and move forward so I, I I'm glad you brought that up we just saw that episode yeah <laughs> any final thoughts from you Rascal? Um, for me, I think it's not like what we see with all of the, uh, like for MHA and you have all the Mineta and Bakugo hate and people either don't see development in them or they see it and they just choose to ignore because they are more comfortable with hating on a character and they've even stated, you know, no matter what happens, they're going to see them as this. And I think for Orihime, unfortunately, they've chosen her to be the target for that same outlook and we know that there are going to be some people that still think the same way towards the end of the series but you do see there are a lot of people that have seen the development with their own eyes whether it's in the manga or in the anime or analysis what have you they are seeing understanding the whole point and purpose of the character why she's important to the story why she's important to Ichigo why she's important to the rest of the cast of characters and the whole story itself of Bleach would be different if she was not in there if she did have if she had no role at all it would be a whole different story I think it'd be like a much darker series or taking darker yes. turns 
without her there. I agree. Definitely. Yes. And I so agree. And I can go, and for me, I can only see mom and entertainment as Oiki because they're both comforting and they only express themselves. Well, thank you. I really am honored and I really appreciate that more than you know. And I really do love this character. So (laughs) thank you, thank you, thank you. And the last thing I would like to add is also, for some reason, there's a, a, a group of people or a faction of any fandom that seems not to care for wholesomeness in a character. Yeah, and that's, that's one big thing about Orihime. She's wholesome and she has this innocence and this kindness about her. And it, for some reason, some people, it irritates them or it makes them angry and turns them off. And, you know, that's okay. Because there's going to be plenty of us that love Orihime. So it doesn't matter to me that you don't like her. Right. But, you know, we love her. And I we know from being on Twitter that there are plenty of people that really do adore her as a character. That relate to her. Um, that actually see her as someone who they aspire to be more like. And can also uh, can be an inspiration in terms of growth their own lives and becoming more confident and stronger and so forth so yeah, it's agree. okay you know no problem All right so if you have not seen this video or he is more important than you think you should give it a watch again you'll see it in the corner just click on the card and click on the link and watch it be sure to like the video and leave a comment for this gentleman this video is worth a watch it's intelligently Presented, he's done a lot of research not only into Bleach itself, but the mythology behind Orihime, who is a character in a uh, mythological character in Japanese mythology. Yes, and also he well, very well describes and explains every facet of her character in her relationships with the characters in Bleach. And again, there are spoilers at the end, so fair warning. But I was ha- first. First, I was disappointed. I saw the spoilers, but then I was happy because I do know that there's going to be a happy ending. Right. And any of you that listen to us know how much we love happy endings. Yes. <laughs> so. So give it a watch and let us know what you think in the comments. If you haven't seen Bleach, seasons one through five are available on Netflix. The entire series is available on Hulu. You can buy the DVDs like we're doing now as well. The manga is available for purchase and probably at your local library. If you have any questions on Orihime or the series itself, leave those questions in the comments below for Phoenix. And I guarantee you, he will be more than happy to answer them and any other questions you have uh, about Bleach because he is the resident expert. Yes. <laughs> yeah. and, and I would love to answer those questions. And we'd love for you to. Yes. So, oh yeah, and be sure to like, subscribe, and click the bell updates on future podcasts and world of pause videos. And be sure to check out Phoenix's channel. It is awesome, amazing. He has some of the best mashup videos ever. You have laughter. Some of them will cause you to cry. Some of the series that he has are the best, including the one that features Inuasha and Kagome, which is my favorite so far. No, the series. Oh, the Lion King one. Yes, that is my favorite one so far, and that one will make you laugh until you cry. (laughs) Yes, is it the uh, Shaolin King? The Phoenix King, I'm sorry. Right, but the one that you were just speaking of that will make you laugh till you cry. Oh, the one that they're arguing yes. from Ted, too. Yeah. Yes, what's the name of that video, Phoenix? Uh, the one that they're arguing is... Yes. Yeah, the one arguing video is where I remade it and from Ted, too. Well, we will include that as well, so you can click on that and just have the best laughter you've ever had. Right. So, thank you for joining us again, Phoenix. Yes. And you're always available. He's just very knowledgeable. Anything that we ask, he has the answer to for Bleach. He truly is an aficionado. And it is just awesome to have him as part of Rascal family so that we can just go to him for anything. Right. So, thank you so much for watching. I'm Rascal Entertainment. And I'm Mom Entertainment. And and I'm General Phoenix. Have a tuntastic day. Peace. And Orihime is more important than you think. Mm Mm-hmm.